Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a key release event. Let's get started. First, let me show you the output. This is my frame. Um, and then I have the enrollment number over here. I have set minimum 10 numbers should be the enrollment number. Okay. So let me just enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. There are 10 numbers. And if I say submit, and it is going to show the success message. If there are only nine numbers and it is going to show this kind of error, that means enter 10 numbers only, right? What if I have just entered few numbers and if I mix up some characters like A, B, C, the moment I enter A, this error pops up. You see this? When I remove that, the error goes off, fine? So if I press any of these characters like this, the error just pops up. So now how to do this, fine? So for this, if you have watched my previous video, you would know that how to create this J frame form and how to bring these controls from here, right? Uh, I do suggest you to please watch my previous video for this. So th this is a label and this is the J text field. And this is again a label, right? And I have just uh, uh, written this particular text inside that and I have changed the color. Now there is a submit button. Now what I have done in the source code, let me just walk through the source code. It's very simple. So first I have a variable called warning uh, under the data type boolean. I have set it as false. All right. And uh, here, this is like whenever your form got, you know, whenever you execute at the time, the label to, that means the error message should not be visible, right? So that you have to set it as false. So my error message was in label two. So I have set it as set visible false, fine. Now, uh, what you have to do is after this, uh, you have to right click on this text field and then you have to add event. Okay, go to events and then you have to select key. So whenever I press and release characters, it should show the error. Fine. So for that, under keys, you have to select key released. So if you click on this, it will take you to the particular method. Fine. J text field one key released. Now, here you just have to add this piece of code. So this piece of code suggests that I'm having a variable called uh, role, and then I'm assigning this, whatever I'm accepting in J text field one, now I'm just putting it in a variable called role, okay? Now, I'm just going to say that, so now how can I recognize that uh, characters, right? Apart from the numerics like zero to one, I need to recognize the characters, right? So I'm using this, you know, this ASCII. Um, so actually 49 and 57 uh, uh, starts from, you know, zero to one, uh, sorry, zero to nine, right? So you please refer the ASCII table as well for this. So according to that, I have just added less, if it is, if the character at I less than 48 and greater than 57, which means less than 48 and greater than 57 are uh, special characters and characters, fine. If it is, then I am saying that warning, that Boolean one in the uh, above we have declared, right? I'm saying it as true and I'm displaying the error message. Means now I'm setting the visibility true of the label two, right? Where my message was written. Then uh, if my um, length, that means I said uh, or 10, okay? So if my roll number, uh, is greater than 10, uh, then it is going to again show a message, right? You have to enter only uh, 10 numbers, right? That's what the message is. Then again, I'm saying that at the end, I'm, 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 I'm setting it as, I mean, setting the, what do you call, my J label to as false and warning message is false. That's, that's it. So I have done nothing else. Yeah. And of course, uh, here, like in the button, so whenever you click on the button, uh, either you need a successful message or you need to show this error message again, right? So just open the button and here I have added this piece of code. So if everything goes well, then it's going to show me the success button, I mean success message. And uh, you know, I have written this code inside the button. You can see that action performed. And if not, if the length is not equal to 10, uh, then again, I'm just going to show the label two again set visible true that's it so this piece of code should be entered 
uh, you can use this code and then let me show you the output again now if you use this particular code and you will be getting similar output like if i say if i start with a b something like this then there is an error message and if i start with one two three five six seven eight nine and there are nine numbers if i say submit and again it is showing the error message right and if there are 10 numbers and there is no such message and i'm going to get the success that's it so this is what uh you can uh, you know try and you can add it in your project as well i hope that you like this particular task if you like the video uh, hit the like button do subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching the video